ਵੈਲਕਮ ਗਾਇਸ ਟੂਡੇ ਵੀ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਇਸ ਕੈਰੈਕਟਰ ਆਫ ਸ਼ਾਇਲਮ ਰਿਟਨ ਬਾਈ ਵਿਚ ਵਿਚ ਚੂਜ਼ਨ ਫਰੋਮ ਦਾ ਨਾਵਲ ਡਰਾਮਾ ਮਰਚੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਵੈਨਸ ਰਿਟਨ ਬਾਈ ਵਿਲੀਅਮ ਸ਼ੇਕਸਪੀਅਰ ਓਕੇ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਸ਼ਾਇਲਮ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਕਨਸੀਡਰ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਨੈਗੇਟਿਵ ਕੈਰੈਕਟਰ ਵਾਈ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨੈਗੇਟਿਵ ਵਾਟ ਦਾ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਬਿਹਾਈਂਡ ਹਿਸ ਬਿਹੇਵੀਅਰ ਦਾ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਥੈਟ ਦੈਟ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਸਫਰਿੰਗ ਫਰੋਮ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਚੀਅਨ ਓਪਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਦੇ ਰਲੋਂਗ ਬ੍ਰੂਟੈਲਿਟੀ ਇਨ ਐਂਟੋਨੀਓ 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 ਫਲੈਸ਼ ਵਿਚ ਹੀ ਡਿਮਾਂਡਿੰਗ ਵਨ ਪੌਨ ਫਲੈਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਅਸੀਕਿੰਗ ਜਸਟਿਨ ਐਂਟੋਨੀਓ ਵਾਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਬ੍ਰੂਟਲ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਹੀ ਸਪੀਟ ਔਨ ਹਿਮ ਕਿ ਐਂਡ ਇਹ ਐਂਡ ਇਹ ਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਟ੍ਰੀਟ ਜੂਇਸ਼ ਇਨ ਅ ਰਾਈਟ ਵੇ ਦਿਨਨ ਕੰਸੀਡਰ ਦੈਮ ਐਸ ਐਸ ਅ ਹਮਨ ਬੀਂਗ ਦੇ ਕੰਸੀਡਰ ਦੈਮ ਇਨਫੀਰੀਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਥੈਟ ਕਿ ਬੂਏ ਲੀਡਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਫੀਲ ਸੈਂਪਥੀ ਫਾਰ ਹਿਮ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਹੀ ਸਫਰ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਅ ਵਿਕਟਮ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਕਮ ਵਿਟ ਬਿਟਰ ਐਟ ਦ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਵਿਨਡਿਕਟਿਵ ਦ ਵੈਂਜਫੁਲ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਹਿਜ਼ ਡਾਟਰ ਰਨ ਅਵੇ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਲੋਰੈਂਸੋ and uh, take her his jewel specially his ring which he, his wife gave to her during the marriage ceremony and she sold it just for the sake of a brutal monkey which he found on through his uh, friend reference and uh, he was very sad disappointed he actually don't care for his daughter either he just for crying for his money and money uh, money and uh, for his jewels and other uh, power which he wanted okay which he need a lot he and uh, let's start his first trait characteristic importance uh, headlines they are mostly i uh, have chosen from to make easy notes which is uh, mostly under nine uh, headlines and the 10th uh, 10th headlines and the 11 ones is a conclusion and uh, let's start our first uh, important heading highly complex nature his passion for money his vindictiveness his passion for revenge its intensity in defense of shylock its blood thirstiness shylock's punishment justified his hypocrisy and cunning his miserliness his patriotic fervor and conclusion a highly complex nature the creation of shylock is one of the triumphs of shakespeare art of characterization he is a highly complex nature and hence most varied most varied and contradictory estimates of his character have been given shakespeare has shown the jew as cruel savage relentless vindictive and greedy his passion for money passion for wealth and passion for money are the two leading traits of his character he is a miser who hoards and for him even to spend a single penny is a torture he lives for money money is his life and soul money is the standard by which he judges other and tony is to him a good man and as much as he is sufficient sorry sufficient solvent uh, he hates antonio is sufficient and uh, partly indeed because he is a christian his vindictiveness perhaps even stronger than his love of money is his hatred of antonia as one of the christian who had persecuted let's move to the next page but secuted his tribe his tribe so cruelly and have one cannot help and here one cannot help feel natural sympathy with the jew a sympathy with shakespeare evidently felt him servant presumably intended to his audience to share in as much as he put in shylock small to that as society pathetic appeal his passion for revenge its intensity indeed one may also almost say that monstrous as this passion has become in shylock it very intensity enables him and invests him with the greater dramatic interest there is how was something almost fiendish in the way in which he hugs and gloats over his this hatred for the christian if i can catch him once upon the help i will feed that the anician courage i bear him he hates our scared nation cursed be my tribe if i forgive him 
in defense of shylock shylock is hard relentless cruel and addictive but he has made what he is a bloody thirsty monster by long and cruel oppression inflicted upon him and his people by the christian among whom it is the lot of the jew to live as ag hayes points out he has inherited a nature embittered by centuries of insult and outrage and his own wretched experience had only aggravated its bitterness his blood thirstiness and yet he goes to the extreme of vindictiveness when during the trial scene he feels that the case is going in his favor and that he will surely get his revenge portia therefore lay your bosom shylock or his breast so say the bond thought it not noble judge nearest his best there are the very words there these are the very those are the very words portia it is so are there balances here to be the flesh conclusion to conclude one must be on one's guard against following the tendency of modern writers and wit washing shylock too much on the one hand and against guarding him as an entirely unredeemed monster on the other few people also who have seen the play acted come away without a feeling of pity for him he is not like lear a man more sinned against than sinning rather he is a man both sinned against as well as sinning this is my important notes of shallow character i just did a reading for you because i know it's very easy already explained in the start beginning of the lecture important things and uh, i hope you like my easy notes related to character of shallow the merchant of venice for more videos and for more easy lectures uh, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon button for all notifications and give your comments and feedbacks how to improve um, uh, make more um, improve videos and studies uh, notes for you and for more easy knowledge and more uh, easy notes thank you bye bye take care